Hi all. In this video, let's learn about coding challenge of availability of books in a store. So let's see the problem statement first. So in a store, if a book is available, if it is zero, then we need to return out of stock. So in a store, if the book is less than uh, the number of copies of the book is less than five, then we need to return low stock. If uh, both of the condition fails, then we need to return in stock. So, so let's uh, see this in two ways, like uh, in the traditional JavaScript prototype and ES6 new way of a class with the class keyword. So hope you understand this. Now we need to have a function where we need to uh, call the availability. So based upon the number of copies, we'll be returning out of stock or in low stock or in stock. So let's do that. So I'm taking a function book. So First solution I will be showing you with the uh, traditional JavaScript uh, prototype way. So I have taken a book, the title and author and the number of copies. So these are the parameters I have taken. So once these parameters are passed, so when we create an object to this, we'll be passing all these values and I'm assigning them to this dot author title. So I'm doing this. So once we pass, when we create a book object, we'll be passing all these parameters to the book object. So then we'll uh, keep those respective book title and author in this instance. So now we have a book. We need to create book dot prototype dot. I'm adding one function like a photo. I'm adding the function to the prototype. So get available availability so this is a function i'm adding to the prototype i'm creating a function so in this function let's check if this dot number of copies so if the number of copies is equal to zero then as per the problem statement we need to return out of stock the number of copies are zero then we need to return out of stock so if it is less than five the number of copies or less than five then we need to return low stock it means the stock low stock so when it comes if both of the cases fails then we need to return back in stock so it means the books are in stock so this is a normal uh, get availability function with this function we'll be able to know whether the book is available or not so also, we need to take two more functions to state whether the book is sailed or not, sailed or restock. So let's create those functions. So this sale function, what does this sale function needs to do is, so whenever someone came and uh, if the book is available in stock, they will take that book. So in that case, we need to minus the book number of copies. So that why, that's why we are using this sale function. So in this function, what we are going to do, this need to take the number of copies. So uh, available number of copies we need to take. By default, I have created, uh, I'm giving one as a default value for this. So now we'll uh, number of copies minus number of copies sold. So these are number of copies sold. The default argument should be number of copies sold. So now, this dot number of copies minus this dot number of copies is equal to number of copies sold. So I have wrote a, I mean, a shorthand cut. So let's do this now in this way. Number of copies minus, minus number of copies to be sold. So here, what we are doing is we, we wrote one cell function to the attached to the prototype of book and now we have we have taken one uh, default argument number copies sold by default value i'm giving to one so here what we are doing is if anyone sell this book so we need to reduce the count of the book so that's the reason we have taken the number of books minus number of books that are sold so now uh, the number of copies would be the having the present having books minus number of copies sold so that's the reason we need to use this sale function and also we need to have book prototype so you may also have restock so sometimes the stock was completed so we'll be 
uh, able to restock it. I mean, we'll uh, keep the stock again. So for that, number of copies stocked. So here also I'm gi giving a default value of five. So now here, what we need to do, we need to add to the number of copies. So this dot number of copies. When we restock it, it means we are again, we are adding some more books. So here uh, we need to add the number of copies, eligible copies and number of stocked copies. So stock means we are added the added the books. So these are the uh, three things we need to do. We have created a book function where it accepts title, author and number of copies. And we have a function called get availability, which tells us whether the book is available in stock or low stock or out stock. And we have a function called sell. It will whether the, if you sell any of the book, it will uh, reduce the number of copies and it will return the number of copies available. So here the restock function will add the same number of copies. Let's take an constant HP. So, so I'm taking one uh, book uh, sample, like I have created an object and I'm passing the book title as Harry Potter. So the author would be JK Rowling. So the, by default, the number of copies of five we have declared the by default number of copies of five. So now if this HP dot will uh, console this, I'm consoling this HP dot get availability. Once if I call this function, let's see what it returns. So later on, we doing HP dot will uh, restock the stocks. I mean, we are adding multiple stocks to 12. So then we'll again call the get availability function to check how many books are there. Again, I'm calling this repeat and sell. I'm selling more books now, 17 books like that. So I will again copy the, the console, same console, and I will uh, try to print the get availability. So let's check the output once. So here, if you see first it is in stock and now in stock and out stock because now it is saying yes in stock because because we are sending five here the number of copies would be five and now we have called the number of copies five is less than five so let, let's uh, create here we'll do three because to know the low low stock as well we need to get low stock so for the first time when we are creating an object we have only three copies so that's the reason here we'll be getting as low stock First, it has three. So later on, you have, we have added 12 more books. So now the available books are three plus 12. It will be like three plus 12 is equal to 12. So now the stock get availability stock returns in stock because we have more books. So now we have sold uh, 17 books. So in, in sense, we have 15, oh, we can't sell 17 books. So let me modify this to 13. So now we have Oh yeah, uh, we'll sell all 17 books, 15 books. So that we have 15 books minus we have sold 15 books. Now we'll have zero books here. So that's the reason we'll be getting here out of stock. So let's see the scene. We have in stock, low stock, in stock, out stock. So this is the coding challenge, which we need to understand with a function prototype. So the same solution can be achieved with the class prototype, the class functional as well. Let me do that. So I'm commenting the function uh, prototype functionality here. So I will uh, create a class. So the same functionality like this, like a class book. We need to take a class keyword book and we need to use constructor. So it takes three arguments, same as above. Copy. So, so it will uh, add this title. We are going to give the title as title. When we create an object to the constructor, we need to pass all these values, author, title, and number of copies. So the same I'm doing here. Yes. Now we have created one constructor. So in the constructor itself, in the class itself, we can add the methods like a get availability. I'm adding a get availability method. So it can be added like this straight away. So I can copy paste this same code get availability code, it works in the same way, the same logic we are using. So it works in the same way. 
So I have uh, copied the get availability function here and uh, I need to add cell function where uh, it, is, it also takes the same number of copies sold. So it takes the same and we need to do the same logic here. So the logic uh, or the functionality doesn't change this. So only thing is we are writing inside the class itself, all these things. So now we have one more function called restock. So it will take the function as number of copy stock. It will also take the same. We are uh, going to add the number of copies to the number of copies stocked. So this is what we need to do. So we are done with the class functionality as well. So we have taken a fact, book class and we have a uh, wrote a constructor it, which takes three arguments and it is assigned to the title author and number this instance so to that particular object which we are using so later on we have the same get availability function and uh, cell function and the stock function so it works in the same way so you can see the same now i'm refreshing it so we'll get the same console so this is the, all about this coding challenge. This is a simple coding challenge where we need to check whether the book availability in the store or not in the two ways we have done with the functional prototype and with the class prototype as well. So if you have, if you need any clarity or any concept to be explained in, in detail, please comment out below the video. I will try to make a video on that. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the more videos.